Building a business can be hard, but with the right personal brand, it can be far easier as it allows you to stand out from everyone else on social media as well as draw in potential customers to you. In today's video, I'm going to give you three tips to building your own personal brand. What's up everybody, Stephen Horn here from Money Making Ideas, the best place to learn affiliate marketing tips, tricks, and tools, as well as using the power of social media to grow your business. Now, I've spent a lot of time analyzing big name entrepreneurs in order to break down and reverse engineer their behavior so that I can use it in my business. One of the first things that I've found that they all do is the art of storytelling. There are studies showing that we as human beings have loved the process of storytelling since prehistoric time. But why is that? Well, it's because it boosts the feeling of compassion, trust, and empathy all of which that you need in a business since you want people to know, like, and trust you. By sharing different hurdles, vulnerabilities, and how you overcome them, this makes you seem more like a human and less of a bot. It seems like it should go without saying, but you wouldn't believe how many profiles use bots in order to like and comment and engage with different people in order to grow their profile. Additionally, this will make you seem more relatable, which is actually a good thing because your ideal customer is actually going to be a reflection of you at some point in your journey. When I say share your story, I don't mean just share it with some random piece of content. It, the goal is to emphasize the point that you're trying to make or it at least should be led up to it. A good example of this is Stephen Lawson and how he shares the story of him reaching his first ever Funnel Hacking Live show. The point that he was trying to make is that if you really want something bad enough, then you'll do everything in your power in order to get it. The second thing you want to do in order to build your personal brand is making sure that you have clarity. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I mean that all of your social media profiles should pretty much say the same thing so that people have a clear message of who you are and what you do. Just take a look at the different profiles I have across social media. All of my bios pretty much say the same thing except for maybe one or two sentences, but they pretty much implies that I'm a affiliate marketer and I help people grow their business using social media. But this isn't the only thing that you need to clarify because you also need to know who is your targeting audience. I mentioned before that my target audience were mostly millenniums who want to learn affiliate marketing and that hasn't changed. However, I also know that I may get people who don't fit inside of these criteria but it's still important to know because at least I know my target audience and what type of content they are going to be looking for. It's good to niche down because when you try to reach everyone, you'll reach no one, which is probably something you've heard time and time again, but it rings true. So one bonus tip before we go into the last one, you should try to pick which type of content you want to pick out. There's inspirational, teaching, or entertainment. So the last piece of advice that I want to give you is to don't be afraid to talk about things that you like. So what do I mean by that? Well, if you go over to my Quora profile, then you'll see that I talk about anime and video games in some of my Quora answers. This is because they both play a large portion of my life and things that I enjoy doing. I also mention on Instagram that I love listening to classical music. And that is because I use it as a tool to meditate. So just like when you're sharing parts of your story, this boosts the feeling of compassion and trust because you're sharing something that you love to do, which somebody else might like, like to do. This makes you seem more relatable and easier to talk to. In one of my current answers, I share that I think building a business is much like fighting a boss in Final Fantasy. There is a lot of trial and error, but the only thing people see is the wing. So, which one of these tips will you start using a day? Comment that down below. And as always, if you like this video, like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next video where I talk about how you can use your personal brand to save time and money when launching a new product.